Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And a true welcome back because it has been a few days since we have been uploading regularly. The missus and I did take a couple of days off just to recharge, refresh, and get ready for the very busy but also very exciting FIFA 23 season and cycle that is just around the corner. And once again, I just want to say a big shout out to you guys that watch the videos daily. I absolutely love uploading this stuff. I love talking about the market, about SBCs, content and how it affects this game in total. And I appreciate that you guys love that as well. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for all the nice words, the comments and the well wishes during the time off and just for supporting the channel so much over this past year of FIBA 22. It has been a huge blessing and it's an absolute blast. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I don't say that enough, but thank you so much for just you know, enjoying the content on the channel. I try to put it out as best as I can every single day. And that's what we're going to continue to do inside of FIFA 23 and into this next year. And just to start this video off really quick, I want to speak about what the uploads the next couple of weeks are going to look like since we're kind of on this topic. We still have stuff going on in FIFA 22. Not a ton, right? Game's definitely slowing down, but at least everything with preseason right now is pretty solid. We're getting good SBCs. We have a showdown SBC that I expect to be today on Wednesday. That's kind of how EA's been doing things, right? Wednesday showdowns the past couple of weeks for Saturday games. So we have a leak to look at with an SBC probably dropping today or two SBCs since, since it's a showdown. And then also a 95 plus shape character that dropped yesterday that impacted the market. And that's another piece of the end game content puzzle. I think that EA is kind of putting out in this end game preseason promo. So I want to talk about all that, but... Again, with FIFA 23, we have news to talk about with that as well. So the videos on the channel for the next basically week and a half to two weeks, it's just going to be a big kind of conglomeration of FIFA 22 stuff, looking back on the year a little bit, but also at the same time, we're going to start to get our minds right for FIFA 23. So just a little bit of a heads up, it's going to be a bit you know, in between both games and, you know, the upcoming stuff, talking about that, probably more focusing on that in the later part of the next week and a half, but then still doing some stuff on FIFA 22 right about now, because there's still, there's still stuff to do, still SBCs, still a lot of cards and packs. EA did the business with preseason batch number two, and they basically, basically what we talked about the, the, the Friday, uh, when batch one ended and batch two came out, it happened, right? We EA dropped all the big cards in packs, 200 players. They dropped the great SBCs. That ki they're keeping up with the transfer stuff. It's pretty good FIFA 23 rewards. So there is a lot to talk about, but I wanted to take a little extended intro to this video and just again say thank you and just kind of lay out a little bit of what to expect over the next basically week and a half as we roll into FIFA 23. So again, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button, get ready and buckled in for FIFA 23. And of course, like the videos if you are enjoying the videos on the channel. Let's talk about FIFA 22 first because it is Showdown Wednesday and I'm sure you guys have seen this leak. I was just catching up on everything yesterday after not seeing a lot of leaks or anything FIFA related at all for kind of the past like four or five days. This is a showdown that I'll get excited about. Perisic versus Alvarez. Two brand new signings as the trend has been with these showdowns. Two showdown cards coming, I think, today because this game is on Saturday. It is a Premier League game happening on Saturday. It's the later game. It's Alvarez Perisic, how it's going to be going down in FIFA. Again, 96 probably is going to be the rating of the cards. The reason I think this is today because the same trend, right? Three days before a Saturday game, Wednesday has been when they've been dropping these SBCs. It's been the same way for the past couple of weeks. Now, being a little bit of a Spurs fan, I love this Perisic here. A little bit of a Spurs fan. Absolutely a Spurs fan. I love this Perisic here. I really hope it's a left wing back Perisic and not a left mid. I do think that it probably will be a left mid. I really hope it's a left wing back. But what most people are excited about here is this Julian Alvarez. And actually, Alvarez's card is a very popular card here on the top of the Footbin most popular page. This team of the group stage combo card, five star skills, four star weak foot, is already a really, really disgusting card. Give this guy a plus two and the potential to get a plus two on top of that already coming upgrade with this showdown SBC. And this Alvarez card is going to be very, very exciting and very hyped for a lot of people. Really good links as well. Of course, we've had the Holland. People will run Alvarez and Holland up top. 
so many other great links as well. Argentinian in the Prem, even a nice link to like, if you're still running a showdown, Cuti Romero, like I am, that's going to be a really, really exciting and meta card. And again, the prices for all these showdowns have been really cheap. So I am expecting that set of SBCs to be coming out today. Again, like I said, the price point is probably going to be pretty cheap, pretty nice. All of these SBCs have been. Sterling, Mane, Dybala, like still four squads for Mane. I think he was end up, I think he is actually the most expensive transfer SBC that we have seen. Mane is 300,000 coins at the moment with where Fodder is. So Mane, Dybala are a little bit more, but still like these are still 300,000 coins or less. Very, very craftable. And you guys know just as well as I do, Fodder is very, very attainable right now with the 85 times 10, still 10 times a day, not unlimited repeatable, which is what we were hoping for, for a couple days ago on Monday. It didn't happen. But that leads me into my next point to talk about is the 95 plus shapeshifters player pick that was dropped yesterday, unlimited repeatable. Now this is a huge W SBC in my opinion, because a lot of people right now are chasing after kind of like, you know, the, the most elite top tier cards in this game is what people have not packed yet, right? We're talking about Lionel Messi shapeshifter. We are talking about Cristiano Ronaldo shapeshifter, Ginola shapeshifter hero, Conte, Marcelo. These are the sorts of cards that people are grinding. And, and if you're still playing FIFA 22 seriously at the moment, really crafting SBCs, like if you don't have these 99s, 98s, 97 rated that are in packs uh, from the shapeshifters promo that are in best of, this is kind of what you're grinding for, right? And what I love about that 95 plus shapeshifter player pick is that it gives you an opportunity to go in open packs to basically narrow and decrease like the crazy odds that you would have and actually give you way better odds. That's the better way to say it, right? Gives you way better odds of packing that Ronaldo, that Messi, that Conte, that Ginola. This 95 plus shapeshifters, if you want anything to do on this game, go rip open 85 times 10s submit what you have into the 95 plus shapeshifter player pick and just do it as until you run out of fodder, right? That's something you can do at the moment with just the way that, you know, the, the, that this is, right? It's unlimited repeatable. That's the biggest W. I think the price is solid. And again, you're just hunting after those top tier players. I've seen Ronaldo out of one of these yesterday. I've seen Di Natale multiple times. So it is a very fun player pick to do. Um, and it's not terrible value. But this, again, like I said, is another piece of the end game puzzle because this is like an SBC that EA only has here for four more days. I would be surprised if they didn't refresh it after four days um, pass further on because I think this is one that's going to be here throughout the end of the game. It's just going to be here. And I think people are going to continue to do it because this is EA saying, okay, you want 99 Ronaldo, 99 Messi. Here's an opportunity to do this as many times as you want and to get those cards for the last couple of weeks that this game is still going on. So big W of this content, big fan of this content, big W from EA Sports. I like that. Now, also, if you're like, Nate, I would rather not gamble and just go buy the cards. That's great as well, because let's say, you know, you only had a few thousand coins and you wanted to go buy Franck Ribéry, a very popular 90, uh, what is Ribéry's rate? Is he 97? Is this a 97 rated Ribéry or 98? 98 rated Ribéry was like 100,000 coins yesterday. And now this dude is 69,000 coins after a big, big drop off in price. Let me look at his card and just show you. This happened to a lot of the shapeshifters. Let's be honest, right? Like every single time this 95 plus shapeshifter player pick comes out, it drops these cards. 110K all the way down to 60K. Very similar drop on the Xbox as well. So big drops on a lot of the shapeshifter cards that were being packed a lot yesterday. Valverde was probably the same. I didn't actually look at his price, but I'm assuming that it did the same thing. 90K, wow, he got cut in half. Over 50% drop in price for Valverde. So whether you're trying to gamble and pack these cards through the player pick, or if you're just like, Nate, I'm going to go buy them, that's fine. Valverde for 40K, like, yeah, say less, right? That's a great price. So GG's to EA Sports, that is great endgame content. Of course, it did make fodder move a little bit, specifically your cards on the low tier. Uh, maybe some of your 86s moved a little bit as well. It's, a, it's the same story. Fodder has been the same story for like the past few weeks. Uh, wow, th these cards actually dropped a decent amount yesterday. 86s did. Uh, that's maybe just one card with Jordi Alba, but or with Jamie Vardy. Let's look at Jordi Alba. Did he move it all yesterday? He was like 8K. No, so these guys went down a little bit yesterday. Um, and the, the, the low tier market, though, continues to have its kind of swings. And I was just about to say, you know, if we're talking market here for a second, if you're trying to make any coins on a daily basis on this, games, on this game, bronzes, 
to 83 rated cards are where you want to be. Unless you're trying to trade and get ready for FIFA 23 by fluctuation trading, which is which is completely fine, by the way. If you're trying to go out here and buy guys like Ribéry at like 65K and then, you know, you can maybe sell them at like 75K and you're trying to, trying to make a quick flip out of it or something like that, that's a great thing to do right now is to get warmed up for FIFA 23 in that regard is, is in trading, right? But if you're trying to trade like the least risk possible of cards that move every single day, bronzes are moving every single day silvers are moving every single day gold commons are moving every single day and a lot of it has to do with like that warm-up sbc yesterday refreshed on tuesday so of course your bronzes went up your silvers went up because people were going out and doing that to get the objective done uh your gold commons are going up every day your gold rares are moving every single day so that's why i like you know some of the 83s and stuff like that people are going doing 85 times tens on repeat so you have a guy like lucas hernandez who's 2,000 coins, you'll probably be able to sell them at 3K or maybe even a little bit above today on Wednesday when these SBCs drop, when people are doing 85 times 10s again. So it's more of the same story with that sort of the fodder end of the market if you're trying to trade and maybe just stay stay fit or stay fresh, if you will, um, as FIFA 23 is upcoming and you want to stay in that trading mindset. That's absolutely something that you can be doing. But just a couple of preseason thoughts in general. Again, like I said, I think EA Sports did a W with the, the squad that's in packs, preseason 200. I think that the player SBCs and the objective for Indomitable, nice Nick Pope, really uh, a really nice card. We don't have any, and this is one thing I'm kind of thinking about right now is we don't have any leaks yet for next week's preseason cards. And it is Wednesday. So hopefully today on Wednesday, we would see a few more leaks because I, I don't think that this is over with. Like the stuff in packs and that sort of thing, like preseason is going to take us all the way till the end. Um, and so I, I feel like there's still more to come. Player wise, there's still transfers that they could do player SBCs for. Again, they're still rocking with the showdowns and stuff like that. So I definitely think that it's not over yet, but it does seem a bit weird. Um, well, maybe not weird yet, but I would expect to see some leaks hopefully pretty soon. I think this is when we had the leaks last week for a few of the cards that were released as well uh, on the weekend, like Sterling, like uh, Nick Pope, those types of guys. So watch out for some of those leaks, you know, coming in from the Foot Sheriff Twitter account um, and into this end of this week on FIFA 22. Now, that's kind of FIFA 22 in a nutshell, right? You're grinding the end game rewards. I'm playing some of the games. Maybe you're doing some 85 times 10s. There's a little bit to grind there, but not that much. And a lot of us are also starting to get excited about FIFA 20. Three. Now let's talk about that because there was some news yesterday from EA Sports themselves that I want to talk about. And it's actually, you know, we'll learn a lot more about this in the coming weeks, but it's nice to have some more confirmation here with some pretty recent signings as well, like near the end of the window ish, right? Or Charleston nearing the end of the window, right? Maybe the latest signing out of all these. But Four ones to watch cards confirmed now. Instead of just Erling Holland, we have four. And I think this is very smart on EA's part to put these four gentlemen as the face of the ones to watch so far. I mean, last year, of course, we had Ronaldo and we had Messi. And it was like uh, unbelievable. Never going to beat that, right? Well, Holland, Nunez, Sterling, Richarlison are pretty big. But they're changing up some stuff with ones to watches this year. So we have four confirmed cards. These will all be ones to watches in FIFA 23, which is nice to know. Again, four Prem cards. Who's surprised with these guys that are in here? Now, one thing that's interesting from this video that EA showed was they kept showing like every time a card gets upgraded, there's a plus one and a plus two. Now I'm reading into this a little bit and I'm pulling out my tinfoil hat theory. You see it right here, right? Plus one plus two. Now, what does that exactly mean, right? Because last year in FIFA 22, for the very first time, we had the wins to watch upgrade, which meant that was a plus one boost if a team won, that the player's team won five matches out of their next 10 domestic league games starting after the ones to watch promo began. So it was five wins from 10 games, which was a bit difficult. Now, we had a leak from Foot Sheriff yesterday saying that the wins to watch upgrade this year is no longer going to be as tough because not everybody got it last year. It's going to be three wins in eight games. So they're lowering the win percentage basically for these guys uh, to get that additional upgrade, which I think is a W. Um, and that's kind of the latest FIFA 23 news that we have. I know it's not a ton, but it is pretty nice because the faster that these cards can upgrade and the more that they can upgrade, the better, right? I mean, think about this Erling Holland ones to watch card. There's going to be so many people, 
very, very excited for an Erling Holland ones to watch because of his form currently IRL, scoring a couple of goals yesterday in Champions League, scoring every single weekend in the Premier League as well. Hopefully not against my Spurs on Sunday. We'll have to see how that goes, or Saturday. We'll have to see how that goes. But, you know, there's a lot of hype around Holland, Richarlison, uh, Sterling, and Nunez all in the Premier League. And, you know, the faster these guys can get upgrades, even not based off their own personal performance of scoring goals or getting into the team of the week, because that's how everybody looks for ones to watch is to upgrade. But having a more attainable secondary way to upgrade with the wins to watch being less wins, I like it. So that's kind of a W. Now, again, it is a bit of an early leak. And I'm sure we'll get some EA confirmation about this soon. And, and they'll start talking about it and, and probably post some more stuff. I would expect to see EA tweets about, you know, almost every single day. Uh, I, I think they're tweeting every single day about FIFA 23. Again, they tweeted about September 5th, right? Uh, September 5th, they tweeted about Serie A Play of the Month as well. So like every day or every other day, uh, they're tweeting out some stuff about FIFA 23 re related to either content or objectives or something or other. So keep your eyes out for that. And hopefully we get some more information today because, you know, we're, we're getting out of that time, you know, first, second week of September now where we're like, we're ready for the web app conversations. We're ready for the talks about the, the full ratings database where we can really start to deep dive in making some starter teams and all that good stuff, right? Start talking about when the web app is going to be. That's the kind of stuff. It's, it's like our, our minds are all, are in two different spots right now. We're trying to enjoy the end game FIFA 22, or maybe you're just done with it. You're like, Nate, give me over here in FIFA 23. People are in all different sorts of areas. So that's why I want to continue talking about 22, but also really start to plan and prepare about 23 as well, uh, because that's what's on the horizon and started to get our minds right about FIFA 23. So that's going to be the video for today. Uh, if you did enjoy, comment down below if you have any, uh, you know, any questions, of course. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up. Scuffed YouTuber, first time back from vacation, can't talk. But if you're new around here as well, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today and be on the lookout for more FIFA 23 videos, more FIFA 22 videos, everything. It's just going to be a conglomeration of everything over the next basically two to three, two weeks on this channel. So again, if you did enjoy it, do all those things. I'll see you on the Twitch stream. It's been Nate Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.